You're watching EAC News. Thank you for joining us. Today, Secretary of State for the Ministry of Social Affairs, Veterans, and Youth Rehabilitation and Secretary General of the Disability Action Council, I'm Chan Makara, met with the Board of Directors of the Australia-Cambodia Cooperation Program for Equitable and Sustainable Services, or ACCESS. There, he lauded the program's success in working with the royal government to implement strategies on improving the lives of persons with disabilities and ending violence against women. The Disability Action Council leader praised the many achievements made jointly over the five years since the Access Initiative was launched to improve the sustainability of quality, inclusive services for persons with disabilities and for women affected by gender-based violence. I'm Chan Makara. Thank the Australian Embassy for continuing its support for the disability sector by committing to access to over the next five years. As a disability advocate, he proposed some priorities for the next initiative, including collecting data, monitoring and evaluating the third phase of the Neurologic Disability Support Project, and increasing awareness of disabilities following the enactment of a new law among policymakers, service providers, and the public. He also called for the continued development of the capacity for government officials to support the in-depth implementation of disability advocacy and for continued work related to physical and communication access, particularly in increasing the number of Cambodian sign language interpreters. He also noted the need for access to a wide range of rehabilitation services for those with physical and mental disabilities, such as autism and psychosocial issues. I'm Chan Makara also addressed the need to continue improving access to economic and employment opportunities for persons with disabilities by providing support for skills training and market needs. He specifically mentioned highly educated disabled youth who deserve support breaking into the IT industry and leadership management. Kristen Winters, EAC News.